morning everyone welcome to my channel my name is Nandipa and today we are going to start off with a vitamin A now I'd like to believe that vitamin A is for aging the A stands for aging now vitamin A is a multifunctional vitamin for our body it's a vitamin that's actually active from the time that we are conceived in the womb so it starts becoming um, active and saying that it's very important um, to remember that vitamin A is very sensitive to the Sun therefore if you're going to use vitamin A make sure you use it in the evening but also during the day make sure you apply your sunscreen as well as wear a hat whether or not there is Sun you still need to apply your sunscreen or um, functions of vitamin A that I'm going to be talking about there is actually more than four functions but I'm just going to be covering four functions with the cell turnover what does that mean now it simply means that it's really helping to speed up your exfoliation process as you can call it our skin sheds on a daily basis every single day we shed dead skin cells now the normal process where from your skin is born from the dermis which is the most bottom layer of the skin which is a living area of your skin which you cannot see with the naked eye takes about 28 days for that amazing cell to actually come to the surface of the skin now this is how I always make an example of it it's like when your skin cells are born it is like a grape it is nice and juicy and round okay as the days go by and they surface up until the top layer of your skin they're more like a prune by the time they reach the surface now when you look into the mirror the skin that you see that is dead dry and flaky it's also known as your dead skin cells now as we get older that process takes a little bit longer so um, like I said normally it takes about 28 days but as we age it can take anything up to 40 days for the bottom layers to actually come up to the surface of the skin what does it mean it means that the longer it takes so we tend to build up more dead skin cells so our skin tends to be more drier it tends to be more um, more flaky it tends to be more sensitized and um, not only that but it gets when it does get dry we do form fine lines and wrinkles into the skin now it is very important to actually use a vitamin A because what it's going to do it is actually going to absorb into the deeper layer of the skin which is a dermis and it's going to communicate with the dermis and it's going to tell it to actually um, increase the ter cell turnover okay so it starts going faster and faster and then leave that but it actually comes back a lot more um, healthier so it is not as dry and it is not as um, like prune looking kind of um, cell when it reaches the top so that is why um, vitamin A is fantastic for for aging a for aging now how it works with the aging because it's actually absorbed into the dermis layer of the skin it is actually helping to increase the production of the collagen and elastin now if you can imagine collagen and elastin I always tell it it's like a sort of like a, um, a weave like this it's tight so that's your collagen and elastin it's a tight so when you have your collagen and elastin what it literally does is helps to firm and tone the skin so it keeps our skin looking youthful and younger what causes a breakdown of the collagen and elastin is the Sun when you expose your skin to the Sun without any sunscreen without any protection a hat you are breaking down the collagen and elastin so instead of your collagen and elastin becoming tight it literally loosens up and becomes slack this is when you start getting sagging skin when you start getting dry skin when you start getting um, your fine lines as well as your wrinkles and it also helps to thicken the skin um, people believe that because it's helping to exfoliate they think that it's actually um, 
thinning of the skin but that's not the case with vitamin A used over a long period of time vitamin A actually does help to thicken the skin which is absolutely amazing so your skin is a lot more healthier number two it helps to improve your skin as well as your hair it actually helps to contribute with the production of the sebum sebum means oil that's all it does now what um, the sebum does is actually helps to maintain the proper um, moisture levels for our skin as well as for the hair so it's helping to regulate the amount of oil that your skin produces that's what vitamin a does so it is very good for people with oily skin because again vitamin a is literally like a communicating a vitamin so it's going to communicate with your oil glands and it's going to tell them to reduce the amount of sebum of oil that it actually produces so it's very good for um for oily skin and that in turn vitamin a is also very good for acne skin now if you can imagine what causes acne onto the skin so you have your pores this is like a pore now when you have um, acne your skin tends to be a little bit more when your pores are clogged you get bacteria that's in there and then bacteria and then you start getting the um, the dirt it gets attracted to the oil and then with everything else that you're using that is harsh onto the skin so you're actually clogging the pores so when those clog the pores are clogged that bacteria is going to cause an inflammation in the pore and that inflammation is really going to cause some sensitivity and that's going to create um pustules which is all the breakouts that you see the acne breakouts that you see on your skin so when using vitamin A, again, it's going to help to control with that oil production of your skin, okay? So that's going to help to reduce the oil that your skin actually produces. And not only that, because of that cell turnover, helping to really exfoliate your skin a little bit more, that's going to help to unclog um, those pores so that your pores are kept clean and clear of um, the oils and the dirt and the bacteria. So it's very important now number three it has cancer fighting properties it can block um, the growth of the cancer cells in the skin okay it has been proven um, for many years that vitamin A does help and then I know there's also studies that says um, vitamin A can also help to speed up the cancer cell growth okay so that's kind of like a you know kind of a touch and go but a lot of studies in terms of skin care they have proved that um, vitamin a actually helps with them um, it has cancer fighting properties that's number three and number four it promotes your tissue repair now vitamin a is so important especially if you use it after surgery when you've after you've had your surgery not like immediately after surgery obviously because you have to wait for your surgery to actually heal for the scar um not to be um, oozing or seeping okay and then you can start using your vitamin a in the scar because that's going to again help to repair those tissues okay so your skin is going to help to thicken again it's going to help to firm and tone the skin around the scar so you can actually help to um, you to use it on the scar and then you're going to help you're going to see the scar it's going to heal a lot faster if you use a vitamin a onto the scar when i mean healed by it's closed and it's not um oozing so that's when you start using it so it's also very good for acne scarring again because it's very um it helps to repair the scar it's also an anti-inflammatory so um that's really going to help to calm with the redness of your skin now however in saying that if you use too much or if you overuse overdose of vitamin a your skin will become sensitive now there are a couple of things that you have to remember when you are using vitamin a because your skin is not used to it yes our skin like I said um, our body does produce a vitamin A 
but because um, your skin is the largest organ in the body so obviously your vitamin A that the body produces is mainly going to go to the most important um, organs you know so your skin is going to be last thing that actually receives the benefits of vitamin A this is why it is used topically so when you use it topically because your skin is not used to it you may start um, to break out that's quite normal your skin will start to get dry it will become flaky it will become sensitive okay so what I would advise is not to use it every day how I started with mine I used it twice a week when I first started I used it twice a week for um, about a month and then after another week like after a month and and one week I started adding on so I started using it three times a week and then after another week I started using four times a week um, so I literally just gradually increased I mean you can use it um, you can literally just use it once and every day use it again but my skin tends to be more sensitive black skin naturally it tends to be a little bit more sensitive so that's why I would advise you to um, gradually increase when you start using your vitamin A don't go shock the skin immediately because then you are not going to like what you see okay there are different types of vitamin A there's this two forms of vitamin A first of all so we've got your um, your retinoids which is from um, from animal it's animal based produce it's like your liver your eggs and your fish okay so that's your retinoids and then you also have your um, they call it the I have to read this one because carotenoids okay so carotenoids um, another form of carotenoids is literally beta carotene so you see a lot of products with beta carotene now that is more sort of like a plant based so that is found in your carrots so remember when you were growing up your parents always told you eat your carrots it's good for your eyes because yes it is beta carotene is an essential um, vitamin vitamin A is very good to have because it does help with your eyesight with your vision if you do like a vitamin A you become um, blind like night blind basically so this is what happens so um, yes so beta carotene is um, found in things like carrots your sweet potato your broccoli and it's quite popular in skincare products now you will find in your skincare products you will find your retinol which is a form of vitamin A you will also find your um, your retinoic acids and some products will also like your sunscreen that will have your retinal palmitate try to choose a sunscreen that does not have a retinal palmitate okay in it so your retinol your retinol is very easy to find It's something that you can find on over-the-counter products there's different types of products with your retinol again use them in the evening so um, it is a uh, I wouldn't say um, it's not as strong as your retinoic acids or retin-A let's put it just as retin-A so you're going to find with the results they're going to be taking a longer so going to be taking you're going to have sort of like a longer results uh, it's going to take longer to get there basically so um, you'll start seeing sort of like the difference between like maybe two months three months of using it you start seeing the difference or you start seeing the results in your skin your retinol products are still very good as a start so start off with your retinol get your skin used to um, the lower dose a lower dose of vitamin A which will be very good okay like I said you will still see some little bit of flakiness and the redness into the skin and your dryness so it's extremely important when you're using your um, your retinol products make sure you hydrate your skin so you can use some hyaluronic uh, moisturizers in it if you're more of a person with a dry skin I would advise you to use something that's more like oil based as you're hydrating to literally help to nourish with your skin and then we have retin-A or <coughs> sorry retinol um, retinoid acids that is something that you're going to find more with your dermatologist or your plastic surgeon so um, 
these are the products that they will prescribe for you and also depends the strength of it of the acids will also depend on your skin condition it is extremely important that you use the um, recommended or the prescribed amount that is recommended by your dermatologist and not anymore because again it can have reverse effects you can literally damage your skin with vitamin A as well and the damage because it's something that absorbs in right into your dermis so you can have dermis um, damage right into the deeper layers of your skin which will take longer to um, to heal so it's also another important factor to go to somebody that really knows what they're talking about not just anybody some salon that says yes we've got your strongest form of um, retin-a I would not advise it I would definitely advise it to go to a dermatologist which will help you a little bit more okay so um, yeah there's quite a lot of products um, with retinol with retinol into the market so make sure you read them wisely and make sure you know what you're looking for and use it wisely you know start off very slowly and remember your sunscreen very very important so i thank you very much for watching and for listening